all right what's up guys not much out here working on the interior of this ep3 whoa so taking a break right now i got kind of half of the car done and now i just got to roll the floors last last video we took out the uh sound editing in here and now we're just basically painting everything black just to kind of make it i did the walls i did the trunk i did this wall I did the roof too man Whew. the roof that was the roof's done so now i guess last what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll the floor um it's not really that hard guys literally just strip the car out paint it and just put it back i know these are kind of boring videos but this is just kind of Time lapse and everything, so you guys see what everything looks like kind of as it comes along. Like, as you see, the back's not done yet. This floor is not done yet. This floor is not done yet. We still got to do the, the floor part, but the doors, everything else is done, and it should be good to go. So let's go ahead, roll the floors, and then let's go ahead and start getting this thing back together so we can get to the good videos about going fast and suspension and all the rest of that stuff, but, like, this is kind of just like prep stuff. I mean, this this helps you out in the long run. It's not really so of like a, you need to do this stuff, but it's going to help the rest of the car kind of get the car together. Like getting the interior done is, a lot of people do this stuff last, but I like to do it first just because like I'm spraying stuff, I'm stripping stuff, I'm grinding stuff. Let's just get that done out of the way first. Then let's, you know, let's put on our, our nice suspension. Let's dial our sway bars in, you know, but let's figure out the weight of the car. Let's get the weight down. Let's clean everything up then let's go ahead and you know let's start dumping money onto the hood in the engine right transmission right fuel system right you know there's a lot of stuff we can really do outside of this and two like money wise i think what what have i spent on this so far i mean interior wise i stripped it that was free the dry ice i think that was like 40 bucks and then the paint that might have been, I think it was like a couple of dollars a can. I think I spent like four dollars in cans. And then I'm going to roll over the floor with some uh, bed liner stuff just to kind of roll the floor to give it some durability. And I mean, I'm well under a hundred dollars and the interior is done. Oh, I even painted the seats too. Yes, yeah, so I did that too. That was well under. That was the thing I might have spent twenty dollars on fourteen dollars on the paint for the seats. So we really changed the whole interior of the car for well less than a hundred bucks. So yeah, not bad, especially cause the car only cost about a hundred dollars. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get this thing, I guess wrapped up and painted, man. I'm getting old, I can't be doing this stuff all day. Body hurts, <laughs> but all right guys, let's uh, keep it rolling. All right guys, so what's up? Not much, interior is uh, dry. It's been a couple, couple days a little while longer than i want it i guess it's a little chilly outside and i guess the paint took a little longer to dry than i thought but been a couple days floors dry um you know everything's dry up on the roof but all right i guess let's go ahead and uh throw the interior back in this thing and back seats are in nice and simple most importantly this is what we're going to be installing next la harness bar Ugh. Pretty easy to install. It's kind of universal. It fits a whole lot of cars. All you really do, bolt this into where like the seat belts go, the top harness that goes by your shoulder. And then you just take these bars right here and mount them here and run them down to the bottom. And that's really it. It's not that, it's only really four bolts you gotta take out. One on each side and just make sure everything's tight. It's really not that hard to install. So let's go ahead and drop this in. And harness bar is in. Nothing too extravagant here. It's literally just four bolts, guys. One, two, three, well, six bolts. One, two, three on each side, and you're in. So, interior's in now. Put the front seats in. And, uh, yeah, it's not bad now. I actually like how it, uh, ugh, how it sits in here. The seats came out good. The back seat's good, probably a little dark. Roof is painted. Sunroof is painted. I painted these things too. They came out pretty nice. Yeah, and even did these side trim pieces right here. So, side trim piece over there looks good. 
Ah, ready for some power. I guess we got to replace this. This is the last uh, thing we should replace. I guess you guys can let me know if we should throw in a, uh, like a removable steering wheel or uh, actually just maybe put another factory one in here. Um, we're still going to figure out the radio situation and like clean this up. I might do that next. I don't know. I don't know. I got a lot of work to do on this thing. So really, whatever you guys want to see, if you guys want to see this pulled out, I think my plan is what I think we should do is uh, do like a radio delete. But um, like, don't put the switches and all that stuff there like in the last EP3 we did, but just like do the radio delete and maybe like do this in carbon fiber because I have some carbon fiber uh, wrap left over. Or if you guys think we should just paint it black, uh, like everything else and just keep everything black, that might be kind of plain. I don't know. What do you guys think? So, um, again, yeah, just let's leave down in the comments what you think we should do to this because I'm not really too sure what to do. Or same thing with this. Um, I had a factory steering wheel in the last car, so it might be kind of cool to put a removable wheel in here, but I don't know. It's up to you guys. Removable wheel, factory wheel, whatever. So, um, yeah, so interior is pretty much wrapped up now. I'm pretty sure we're just going to leave it like this. I mean, it looks good. It's tucked. You know, everything's still there. It's all painted. I might put some harnesses in here too, but that's, you know, we can get that stuff later. But yeah, guys, so I guess uh, interior's wrapped up. We got to work on the engine. That's what the problem is. We got to get that stuff straight. So I kind of just did this as a quick, like, boom, let's just get the inside of the car done. So then, you know, it's done. But now we got to work on the, the good, the, you know, the meat and potatoes part of the build. So, all right, guys. Um, Yeah, not too sure what to do next, but either we're probably going to be working on this or depending on the comments we're gonna work on these two and then we'll probably work on the engine next but i guess we'll go ahead and see what's up next but all right guys later